you know, you can sleep nocturnally, but you can also sleep midday. It's a natural slump. Siesta time, you know. And late afternoon is another one because we've been up since the morning into the midday, moving towards sunset. So there's a little gap there. That's called triphasic. And the multiphasic approach is basically, it's almost like a 30 minute period every four or five, six hours, right? So no blocks, no lengthy periods. So if I'm trying to coach a single-handed round the world sailor, who's gonna be at sea for three months on their own in all sorts of types of conditions, and they can only leave the deck to get some recovery as long as all these other factors are in place, otherwise they can't. Then they use that polyphasic approach for a period of time to be able to do that particular thing. They can't go into it thinking, I'm gonna get eight hours tonight, but I'm bobbing around in an ocean on a boat on my own. This could be, you know. So children come into the world sleeping polyphasically, you know, the brain is making them sleep for a period of time, stop, fuel up, hydrate, next one, next one. They keep doing that all the time. Then you go to things like, um, you know, pilots, surgeons, nurses, 24 seven workers, parents, you know, it's kind of like, that's why sleeping monophasic, now we've done this big shift. We were getting away with it before, and now it's more difficult. And that's the way you shift it.